what crossover does is that puts into action our prayers and our and what we want to happen. And this is revival. This is spiritual awakening. And I want every pastor, I want every church to experience that because it's contagious. This is not a church event. This is an event to bring the lost where those lost can be found. Y'all, this last week has been incredible. Uh, from students, like 2,000 students gathered in the Expo Center, thousands of people on Sunday night uh, come eager, hungry for the Word of God. Even if one was saved, but 146, they see that excitement and take that back to their church. Some of you may not be able to come and be a part of this, but you can be a part of it by giving through the Coopier program. As an AMS, I'm, I'm, I'm always telling my folks, these are reasons why you give the Coopier program. We are better to give. I've had family here. Family I've prayed for for a long time. I had two nieces come to know Christ Wednesday night. I've got other family members that we've invited here tonight. I've talked over and over and over to them, but the Spirit has to move within someone. And when the Spirit is in a place like this, you can't help but be moved. Our hope at 12 Oaks has been to see our people live on mission. And this revival, this type of hope for West Kentucky has been a spark. Uh, that's what you hope as a pastor, that people get this. The Kentucky Baptist Convention and this crossover event has made a push in Paducah that we don't need to stop. We should not stop here. This is our time to pick up our crosses. This is our time to hit the streets. Uh, it's time for God to move in West Kentucky.